Welcome to Georgia, a state of unconstitutional abortion laws. Abortion care is health care. It appears that now other states, including Missouri, are following suit. Republicans, you y'all, you guys used to say, we want the government out of our life. We raped women last night. It didn't help that the lawmakers who put these abortion restrictions in place just happened to be the biggest sausage fest ever. Oh boy, the time has come for me to make another abortion video. So if for whatever bizarre reason you don't know what the video topic for this video is today, well, it's abortion. And I am going to be going through the many different arguments pro-abortion people or pro-choice people as they prefer to be called use to argue for the right to an abortion. The first argument that I often hear is that it's a clump of cells. Well, you're a clump of cells. Every living thing is a clump of cells. They don't feel pain. Feeling pain does not make you any more or less human. Because if you suddenly stopped being able to feel pain, does that mean we can kill you because you can no longer feel pain? Obviously not. If we don't have abortions, there will be more crime. Just because they may commit crime in the future doesn't mean you have the right to murder them. In fact, there's actually some stuff to point out that the study that said that there was less crime because we have abortions is faulty. So I'll leave a source down below for that. At the moment of conception, it is definitely, by definition, not an independent life form. Well, there are people who can't survive without machines to keep them alive. And I don't think that means we should just kill them because they can't survive without the machines. There's also the fact that you have to take care of the child even after it's born, otherwise the child will die. So whether it's inside of you or not, you still have to take care of it, otherwise it will die. This also kind of ties into the argument that it's a parasite. Well, it's not. A parasite, according to Cambridge Dictionary, is an animal or a plant that lives on or in another animal or plant of a different type and feeds from it. The other argument I hear is mental health or the fact that they cannot take care of the child when it's born. Well, those aren't arguments either. Just because you're depressed because you are pregnant doesn't mean you have the right to kill your unborn child. Nor does the fact that you are unable to take care of the child after it's born. You can always give it up for adoption. I've also heard the argument, well, what about it being in the foster care system and living a life of poverty? Well, I'm pretty sure it's better to be alive than to be dead. Most people would rather be in poverty than be dead. If that wasn't the case, then every single homeless person would probably be dead by now. There's no way that I would be able to carry my rapist child. As bad as rape is and as bad as incest is, those aren't excuses. I sympathize with the women who were raped. However, that doesn't mean you have the rights to kill your unborn child. It is its own person. It's not a part of you. It has its own heartbeat. It has its own brain. It has its own blood type. It is its own person. The next argument is that women will still have abortions whether they are illegal or not. This is an absolutely retarded argument. Since people will still rape and steal, does that mean we should make those things illegal? No. Same goes for abortions. Another thing they will make is that the separation of church and state. We're not in a country where we're ruled by your interpretation of your religion. Well, you don't have to be religious to believe that abortion is murder. Now, I derive my beliefs on abortion from science. And according to science, brainwaves can be first detected within the sixth to seventh week. I believe any abortions when brainwaves can be detected is murder. The only exception is when the life of the mother is in danger. 
ISIS and Al Qaeda in Saudi Arabia control their women and, and they tell them what to do. They don't let them drive, they don't let them go outside without males. They're, like, it's so terrible how they're trying to control their women. I don't know that Saudi Arabia does anything as bad to women. So that is your Sharia law. We never agreed to it. You want to control women even more than those fundamentalist Muslims do. And, and don't tell me that you are for small government or for freedom ever again. Mm -hmm. Because small government doesn't get inside your uterus. This has nothing to do with the size of the government. Otherwise, that could be applied, as I said earlier, to rape and theft. Does that make me a big government advocate because I'm for those things being illegal? No, same thing goes for abortion. It didn't help that the lawmakers who put these abortion restrictions in place just happened to be the biggest sausage fest ever. I mean, look at that, for real. 25 men passed this abortion law. They passed it through the Alabama Senate, right? These are the people deciding what women in Alabama can do with their own bodies, which is crazy. Well, then what about the men who decided women can have abortions with Roe v. Wade? and other court cases and laws. Does that mean we gotta overturn those because they were decided by men? Well, majority of people in America support abortions. That's a fallacy. Specifically, that's the ad populum fallacy. Just because the majority of people support abortions doesn't make it right. The majority of people also used to support slavery. Does that mean it was right then? No. Also, let's look at the true stats. According to a Gallup poll, 29% of people believe it should be legal under any circumstance, 14% believe it should be legal under most, and 35% believe it should be legal only under a few circumstances, and 18% believe it should be illegal in all circumstances, according to the Gallup poll of 2018. When asked whether they considered themselves either pro-life or pro-choice, it was only 48% pro-life and 48% pro-choice. Now, if we look at the individual trimesters, in the third trimester, 81% say it should be illegal. In the second, 65%. And in the first, yes, it drops to 34%. But as I said earlier, just because it's unpopular to make abortion illegal in most of the first trimester doesn't mean that it is wrong. Now back to the life thing, that that baby isn't alive until it's born or a certain point in the pregnancy, or that it's not a baby until it's viable. No, that doesn't suddenly make it a person. What makes it a person is the development of the brain. And as I have said earlier, the development of the brain starts within the sixth to seventh week with the detection of brain waves. Your brain is you, basically. Now people will make the stupid thing, well, what if we take a piece of that brain out? Does that mean you're less of you or something to that effect? Well, yeah, you've lost a piece of yourself, you're still you, you still have the rest of your brain. If your brain doesn't make you, you, then what makes you, well, you? It certainly isn't your heart, your heart can't think for itself, neither can your blood, your skin, your bones. Only your brain has actual thought, and your brain is you. So, when a baby is a person, it is around the 6th to 7th week. And any abortions during that time and after is murder other than in the life or death of the mother. Welcome to Georgia, a state of unparalleled beauty and unconstitutional abortion laws. Well, it's not actually. The only argument that is given saying that it is a right is supposedly an implied right to privacy. That's very weak because there's two amendments that can fight against that that aren't implied but explicit. For example, the 10th Amendment that says, the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution nor prohibited by it to the states are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people. The other amendment that goes completely against the supposed implied right is the 5th Amendment, and it states, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Then it, some idiots will try to say, well, there it is in the amendment that says you can't take away someone's liberty. But if it's not viable outside of the mom, then we go to point number two, and you're saying to a woman, I'm going to take away your liberty. In order to have liberty, you need to be alive. Same thing goes for in order to have an implied privacy, you have to be alive. So in conclusion, 
any abortions committed after brainwaves can be detected is murder, scientifically speaking. Now, for those who have a religious belief that all abortion is murder, okay, you you can believe that. However, we have to have scientific evidence. We can't just go off of faith. I'm sorry to say. If you can prove it, I would definitely say that then all abortion is murder. If you can prove that it is, scientifically speaking. But until that day, I don't think you can fully. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like this video, share, subscribe, follow me on all my social media like Facebook, Minds.com, BitChute, Gab, Twitter. Please support my content on either Patreon, Ko-fi, or Subscribestar. You also can buy something from one of my merch stores at either TeePublic or Teespring. So, go do all that, and I'll see y'all later.